Uh, my name is Sarup and in this video we'll cover how to debug a web app deployed using Google Apps Scripts. So I stumbled upon this issue of debuggability of a web app because uh, every time you modify a script which is supposed to change the behavior of the do get or the do post request, you would always have to redeploy the web app in order for those changes to take effect. And that was frustrating. We could instead use a different methodology to make that happen. So let's see how well, we could test that out. So I'm just creating a new test app. Let's name it Web App Debugger. You can name this anything that you want. I'm just na naming this for ease of convenience. Now, instead of uh, my function, we'll write a do get function instead so you know do get is used to accept any get parameters or, or get requests as a web hook perhaps or a web app instead so i'm just going to use this to return you know whatever patterns that we that we actually get to see with a do get request so i'm going to stringify this so that it becomes easy to read and let's just see what what happens when we deploy this you know fresh i'm gonna yeah, be anywhere even anonymous right let's just keep this public if i do this so these are the parameters that a get request returns or, or rather the, this is the format in which the uh, a get request returns the parameters now let's test something out with the same web oh so i'm just, just gonna write testing equals one so this is that's our first test and uh, i just triggered a quote unquote a get request and as you can see what i used was a query string where it said testing equals one and you know they also come up as a parameter given that it's a single one also if we had a bunch of parameters that would have shown up here let's just do another quick test so that uh, we can demonstrate how the other variables and parameters show up so let's just say data up let's do testing equals two and data equals three right let's just see what this comes up as uh, now the reason i am getting this on my browser in this very beautiful format is because i use a, a chrome extension which essentially uh, transforms a json into a past or a, a, a beautified format so so, but this, these are the parameters that you get to see and, and what occurred to me was instead of you know redeploying the web app over and over again in order to be able to capture parameters we could instead do a test function and you know just copy this entire you know uh, copy the entire format and let's declare a variable e yeah so let's just do this now if I, I, as you can see here while it's while the brackets are you know perfectly closing the function i think the reason it's it does not align with the right format is because we are not ending this variable we're not terminating this variable I'm just gonna do that and once again if i format the code it, it aligns perfectly well so one of the things i can do here is now call my do get function and let's do logger.log which essentially is you know is, is what we end up using in an app script in a typical app script. if you're running any other typical function we end up using logger.log so i'm just going to use that and let's see what comes up so you see i don't have to deploy my web app again although i've made all of these changes i do not have to deploy my app all i can do is just run my test open my logger and as you can see you know, it just simply logs exactly what you would expect. Now here's here's the thing that we end up always testing or rather doing every single time we deploy a new web app is we keep testing these query parameters or query string and different parameters and so on and so forth to understand what's happening in the entire script. So let's see if I do and variable equals four and instead of e I'm gonna do e dot query string. Let me actually do this instead. So that's essentially variable colon four. And I'm also gonna do this here. So it's, you know, 
well, it doesn't really matter because these are simply different parameters in the variables. It, it doesn't really matter if you do it in every single place. I'm just doing it to maintain sanity. So I'm just gonna do e dot parameter and let's say json dot and put this inside here. And now, if you run your test function and you know, open the log, you can see that you get in a very beautiful JSON like format right here. So, this is an easier way uh, to debug your web app as opposed to you know changing your functions of the do get and, and whatever you might have had inside of this do get function and publishing it and, and redeploying it over and over again. I, I believe this might just help you debug your code better. I hope this helps, but uh, feel free to share any comments or remarks or perhaps a better way that you can think of, you know, to test and debug your web app. Thanks for watching.